lovelies, welcome back to a new video. I am gonna be styling mini Uggs today. So I feel like it's about time I start doing more autumn transitional ways to wear and I'm super excited. I do feel like I've chosen maybe not the best day. I mean, it's not sunny, but it's very warm and I have my doors open and I'm already sweating and I haven't even got the trouser warm coats on and all of that. I'm actually only doing like shorts and skirts to start. So I basically just thought I'd do a whole video of different ways to wear mini Uggs, some with skirts and short options for more transitional days and then more leggings and jeans and trousers for some other options as well. I actually, annoyingly, one of my favorite coats and ways to style the Uggs is currently at the dry cleaners. So I'm gonna leave a picture of that on the screen here and a few other photos of how I styled them last year, just in case that might give like a little bit of inspo for pieces you guys have in your wardrobe before I start this video. And I just feel like they're gonna sell out again this year. I've already been like looking on Vinted for the platform ones and there's so many going for like double the price. So I was like, okay, it's still happening. <laughs> and Office have a few sizes, I think. And so do, I saw Selfridges had like the platform chunky ones. So I'll try and leave as many sites as I can below if you don't have these and you're looking to invest in them. And if you do have them, then hopefully this video will just work as like a little bit of inspiration for those pieces in your wardrobe. And let me know which layout you guys prefer for these styling videos. I'm gonna set you guys up and talk you through and then leave like the clips on the side of the screen as I'm like physically wearing the outfits. But I don't know whether you guys prefer it to be like full screen of me in the outfit, not talking and just voiceover or yeah, just basically let me know how you guys prefer those kind of ways to wear videos and I will film it the way that you guys like best. But let's get trying on, let's get styling some outfits, let's get excited for autumn. All right, first outfit, definitely a love it or hate it kind of thing. I'm gonna stand back here and then kind of come forward and leave the outfit actually on the screen here. But I am kind of starting with the shorts and skirt options for more of those transitional kind of days out. And I, like I said, get really, really warm. So shorts like this, and then like a really nice comfy knit for those more casual Sundays, I find is like a really nice little outfit option. And I've tied in the look with, like I said, the accessories to kind of tie in together. So taut shades and a bag that really matches the color of the Uggs, which I thought was quite nice. This is definitely like a Marmite kind of outfit, but for me, just like one of those looks that I'll be wearing casual comfy Sundays when I'm maybe he heading like to do errands, going for a roast, going for coffee, and just wanna be very, very comfortable. And you could easily swap this out for like a little black mini skirt if you want something a bit more neutral and tailored and then easily can layer over with like slouch coats and trench coats as it starts to get a little bit colder as well. Right, we're going very tonal again. I've gone for all the tans, the beiges and the browns and my absolute fave leg warmers. So when moving into like autumn and winter, I literally don't take these off, even like with leggings or under anything that I'm wearing. So like if I'm wearing wide leg jeans I'll just have these on just to keep my legs warm and I like pull them up which is quite game changing when it's like freezing in January and Feb but then I was thinking for this look just again tying in like the neutral tones and using the bag and accessories to do this but also wearing this little tan skirt which I feel like just the tones when you're going for like a full neutral beige tan and brown outfit moving into autumn and winter is like one of my favorite kind of ways to style most of my looks and then if you wanted to add pops of color it's quite nice adding in like oranges and more of those like blues with some of the browns and I feel like there's just so many underrated kind of combos one of my faves is like peaches and browns and pinks and browns but that's just because I'm a pink kind of gal but this is the fit I've got my Wanda the label jumper on and then skirt is really old H&M most of these coats will be quite old last season because I don't really want to invest in any more this year but I will try and find alternatives to these or if I can't at the moment then definitely check out vintage I feel like Coats like this, this is ASOS design from a couple of years ago. They always have lots of similars on Vinted. And I feel like as the season starts, we'll start getting more of these pieces that kind of pop up on Topshop and ASOS and Miss Selfridge Rev Island and like Arquette and Cos and all of that too. Outfit is full neutral. I feel like we're starting with the neutrals and then I'm gonna move in to more color and more to kind of tonal pieces and looks. But I've gone for this little cream skirt, which I've had for a while. And then I feel like if you've got any oversized like comfy knits or just jumper dresses or anything like that. It always looks really, really cute with the Uggs and the leg warmers together. So I feel like this is just one of those like full neutral looks that I would go for. And the coat is that kind of added layer if I need it out and about. I know it feel, feels like it kind of defeats the point of having your legs out, but I do feel like if you are out and about in the city potentially, and you're like me and you get really, really flustered, being in like London and on the underground, then like carrying your coat, being able to kind of have a cute little 
fit like this is quite nice, but then you could easily put on tan leggings with the leg warmers, wide leg jeans, cream jeans. There's so many different options, but seeing as we're starting with like skirts and skorts and shorts and all of that, this is just one of the ways that I would also wear the outfit. Now this was one of my favourite kind of like cute preppy outfits that I wore quite a lot like moving into the colder days last year. So just the black little mini skirt which I feel like you can get anywhere and then this top is pull and bear. They do such good like classic basics. I just feel like they do them so so well. So I have quite a few of like the shapes and fits that they do of these and then just the Zara brown tonal jacket which again I just feel like when you're going for more of those kind of beiges and neutrals they just complement each other so so well. So although I do love a lot of colour and there will be some in this video I do really think that when they're that kind of beige classic colour they do go with more of those neutral tones so if you do have a lot of that in your wardrobe anyway I feel like it's quite easy to focus on maybe like a two colour rule and then kind of style around that or like I've done with this one I've kind of gone very tonal again but kind of focused around the jacket as being like the main focus point and then kind of tied in the colours so there's lots of different ways that you could kind of style outfits like this but I feel like a black A-line mini skirt is always a go-to and like a capsule kind of piece for me no matter what the season and then again this could be styled with trousers or leggings if you needed to as well. So like I was saying jumper dresses or cardigan dresses are an absolute fave way of styling with the Uggs so this one is super super old H&M but I would definitely try and find similars or definitely check out Vinted but I have got the little skirt on underneath in this but I just love how this looks I also do really like how this looks with like high knee boots and it also is a way of like adding more colour if you have any kind of like favourite coloured knits favourite coloured cardigans or coats I feel like that's a nice way to kind of be the focus point of any outfit and then it just adds like a nice tone to the autumn winter wardrobe this is obviously like a mustardy neutral tone but I do have lots of like pink pops of colour jumper dresses and pieces like that that I can really kind of brighten up the look so there are lots of different ways obviously you can add the colour in but one of my favourite ways is just getting that main piece that I love and kind of styling around that with full neutrals and they really really work together so I could even do maybe like a pop of pink jumper dress and then style with these tones maybe tie my lipstick or my eyeshadow or do like a claw grip that matches and then just like elevate the look like that instead so yeah this is a very cute little option that I love and to be honest I just can't wait to wear this cardigan again because it's been a year of not wearing it and I absolutely love it Talking of accessories and colour, I basically got this tee today, which I've actually, I'm wearing it backwards. It's from Zara, it definitely needs a bit of an iron, but I just love the pop of green in this. And if you want to kind of go and invest in a piece that has a bit of colour like a graphic tee, that's also such a great way to then tie in with your favourite coloured accessory and then bring like a full neutral look to life. So I just thought this was a nice way of showing you how I kind of add those more green pops of colour into my outfits. I also have a green pair of trainers that I love to kind of bring those looks to life with as well, but I just feel like with the neutral creams together, the green and then the black blazer, which is men's Zara guys. Like honestly, if you want like an oversized naturally fit blazer, definitely check out Menzara. I feel like the camera is slightly falling. This keeps happening today. So sorry if it's a bit all over the place, but yeah, I just feel like Menzara blazers are the way to go or charity shop blazers in the men's section as well. So a lot of my blazers are charity, but this one is Zara Men's and I just love the shape and fit of it. And then I'm loving the green tones. And these are some of my favorite glasses from NAKD. I just love the gold accent detailing. And I feel like they do sunglasses really well with more of those kind of accent kind of pieces, if that makes sense, like attached. So you've got the Naked Fashion logo, but they do like ones with silver and they do a few more like kind of square and bigger kind of rounded ones. But I just feel like the oval kind of style is such a classic shape and yeah, I, if I could wear these every day, I would, but they kind of give bougie, <laughs> bougie vibes. And I feel like sometimes it's a little bit too much, just like a casual day out in Brighton. <laughs> so another way of adding in the color, I've done this little pink tee and pink bag because that is kind of what I have most of in terms of accessories and pieces in my wardrobe. I have it so much pink. I just feel like it goes really nicely with like lots of neutrals and tends to work for me color palette wise. I had one of those color, what's it called? Like eye hair and skin tone 
thing done and pink was like the number one color that I should apparently go for so I wear a lot of pink but depending on the color that you guys have in your wardrobe again like I said doing like a top and a bag option is a nice way of adding this in to more of the neutrals and then I've gone for the black shades again to tie in with a skirt but you could do a black bag you could easily just add like a little pink lip and pink top or depending on the color one of my favorite kind of ways of elevating outfits is doing a red lip and a red bag combo and that I just feel like is the most like inexpensive if that's a word I feel like that's a word but like if you wanted to get like a vintage red bag and a red lip that's the most easy way to kind of take those looks from day to night or elevate them a bit more and do it on a budget rather than having to invest in potentially like a graphic tee or a new jumper or a new knit you could easily just stick with the neutrals that you may have and then just do it that way so this is just another little fit which I really love and of course a trench coat for me is like an absolute capsule classic for moving into like autumn and winter so I'm going to do another waist wear of this very soon but I do have a few videos of waist wear a tan trench coat already and then also my neutral cream one so I will leave that either link down below or it's somewhere in my videos just in case you guys fancy seeing that one too so I feel like last year I didn't have a denim midi skirt because I love how this looks with the Uggs. I feel like this is a very kind of tonal outfit. I've kind of stuck with a free colour rule where I've gone for the tan blazer to go and tie in with the Uggs and then the denim kind of is the main focus point of the outfit. That's kind of what I've styled this whole look around but I'm also going to try and do a bit more of like a I guess not colourful but a bit more of a textured look for another way of styling it because I love this a lot but I do feel like I could go a little bit more fun and maybe do some like navies and yellows together as well with the skirt so I'm going to try that now too but I do love a classic autumnal tan beige or brown blazer I feel like it's a capsule piece for me it works really well with denim works really well with those like neutral whites and blacks and anything you've got and also if you need something that can be very transitional for all seasons and I feel like investing in a blazer in this color is a great piece because it works so nicely for autumn and winter but great for spring and summer as well so it's like an all year styled piece so we're going for the yellow and navy i'm giving this a go i don't know a hundred percent if the yellow hat works but i love this navy fake fur blazer which is from nakd with the yellow i kind of feel like this is quite a me though colorful outfit because i do love a colored beanie and scarf in winter i have too many to count so i feel like this is quite a cool comfy outfit and I do love I just love the denim midi skirt with the Uggs I am going to be wearing this like styled kind of outfit quite a lot I think I really like how it kind of all works together so yeah I quite like this but I think it's definitely a love it or hate it kind of thing but I do love matching again bags and hats and accessories and I do feel like the navy and denim is quite a nice combo and then I could add in the taut shades that I have these are just like vintage ones from Brighton that go quite nicely with the brown tones of the Uggs so wearing my jorts now this is a bit more of like a casual comfy kind of everyday errand running kind of fit adding on the cap which I'm currently just obsessed wearing this cap I don't know why I didn't think I could pull off a cap but I really love this I feel like I'm very hidden in it <laughs> so I quite like it a lot but I'm just going with lots of like grey tones this little like baby tee from Zara and jacket from Zara and then tying in again the accessories with the Uggs I'm also absolutely loving like darker greys with lighter greys at the moment. Excuse how creased this is. My steamer literally just broke, which is so annoying because I steamed half of these outfits, but not this one. But I love like a little matchy combo. And then I've done black accessories with this just to kind of allow the Uggs to kind of be the main focus point and stand out, but create quite a cute like city, city? <laughs> I've been speaking so much I'm losing the way to say words, but a city day out kind of fit that I'd wear out and about. And you could easily kind of layer up with like a little beanie or a longer coat if needed. But I quite like the different tones together and I really like the kind of free colour rule going on here. Just means the Uggs are a little bit more of the focus point. But you could also do like a beige or tan trench coat with this. And I feel like that would work quite nicely as well. Okay, this might be a fave outfit. So I love my fake leather shorts so much in autumn and winter. And I just love this new hat and coat combo from Uniqlo. This actually comes in multiple different colours. And I love the combo together. You can get this in a cream and a beige and a tan. And also a black version as well, I think. But I just think the fit is gorgeous. And I love how perfectly... 
it matches the Uggs. Like I know they're different shades of beige, but I love the combo together. And then I've just done the Fate Lover shorts with this little kind of silky pull and bear top. This is the black version of the brown that I shared with you guys. And then I've just done black accessories, but I actually think I might do spot tights. I can't, guys, honestly my words, spot tights <laughs> with this look, because I do love a spot tight in autumn and winter and feel like it maybe adds like a little bit more texture and potentially it might be a little bit too much leg out with this outfit if that makes sense like I've covered up quite a lot on top so I feel like it's just bam so like to even out the look maybe I think I'd add some tights but just for now this is the little fit that I'm really liking I feel like this might be a fave that I've tried on so far also could add this peach roll neck knit just to brighten up the outfit a little bit more as well but again I think I'd need the tights with this one to kind of make the look work a bit better but I just thought I'd show you this roll neck jumper it's so soft comes in eight different colors from Uniqlo <laughs> literally my fave brand at the moment to just shop at I just love this kind of peachy corally tone and I feel like it works so nicely with like tans and beiges as well so just put on my satin skirt with the tan coat and like the neutral kind of pieces because I feel like it's a fave of mine to wear for autumn and winter I definitely love it as like a capsule piece for every day and then also styling into the evening so I've gone for this cream knit which is from Topshop super super soft swear by then jumpers they always absolutely smash it around autumn winter time with like the cozy super Super, super soft knit so I definitely love this kind of combo together and I do feel like the bag goes quite nicely with the Uggs so I feel like this is quite a nice tonal look to go for very very comfortable kind of a bit more like feminine chic which I quite like and I'm gonna think of a few more ways I think with the satin skirt and maybe include that in my vlog and share like a few different ways how to style that maybe for autumn and winter because I did that last year however I love it so much. I feel like there's multiple ways in my head that I could share with you guys. So let me know if that's something you guys want to see. Last outfit for skirts, dresses, shorts, all of that. I've gone for this nude little dress that I feel like I've had for ages from Kiwi & Co. And then this jacket is old NAKD, so I will link similars if I can find it. But I just love the kind of tones of this together. I also love like a check jacket or jacket like this to tie in with like neutral tones. And I always feel like the same kind of rule with colour and accessories that if you love lots of creams and beiges then perhaps finding a jacket with those cream and beige tones in like this one is like a nice little added in coat into your autumn winter wardrobe that could elevate all those outfits, add a bit more texture, add a bit more something something and I feel like it just makes lots of my outfits a little bit more interesting rather than if I just had a cream jacket on right now or a tan jacket potentially, I just love the kind of check details it also means you can style within all those colors so I could even do like gray little shorts with this and potentially like a cream little top or something so I feel like the ways are endless and yeah I do like how it looks with the leg warmers as well so yeah that is the first half of the video I'm going to film the second tomorrow which will be the same for you guys because it'll be in like two seconds but I'm going to get planning the trousers leggings and tailored trousers and all those kind of looks which are probably my favorite way to style the Uggs because I feel like it's a bit more practical so let's get on to those back it's the next day we are moving on to trousers straight leg trousers jeans leggings kind of ways to style them so starting with just a very classic outfit of mine with my blue jeans so these for me are like a little underlayer that I tend to wear a lot in autumn and winter I love doing a black little top and jean combo and I really love ultra mini Uggs with the wide leg jeans so these are really old collision but I believe they still do them in their 90s straight leg and they're just such classic jeans for me because they're so comfortable on so I've gone for the tan coat and then to kind of tie in with the Uggs with this look and then the black accessories to kind of make it a little bit more cohesive but just a very comfy very cute, very casual, just everyday fit where I could wear this out and about and know that I've got the little added layer if I need it. So like I mentioned, I am a big lover of the accessories, adding more colour and I love a matching bag and scarf option as well with more of those neutrals. So again, the classic jeans for an everyday capsule piece of mine and then I've gone for this black knit roll neck which is actually also a capsule kind of winter piece for me, an autumn piece because I've had this for around eight years and I just always gravitate towards it on like days when you want to be super snug. So I've just added the scarf to just add a little bit more something something to the outfit but of course this could be any neutral pieces you guys have in your wardrobe or just your favorite like classics it could be without the scarf and you just want to like elevate the look with maybe your favorite pop of color bag you could even do like a red lip make it a little bit more autumnal go for more orangey tones in your makeup potentially but I just love a roll neck and jean combo with something quite comfy and classic for like everyday city days out errand running brunches 
all that kind of stuff. I just felt like this is a very comfy little autumn option. So styling the blue jeans again, I just wanted to show you another way that I personally love styling like my jeans and the Uggs, different ways to add a bit more colour. So like I was saying yesterday with the short looks, that like having a pop of coloured coat is like the main focus point of my outfit is a really fun way to kind of dress up those looks. You could easily just have like a neutral kind of check jacket or jacket or a coat that has more colour like this one and then kind of tie in the pieces and colours of the look with that main focus point. So the jacket being very bright, very colourful, but still having the brown in just allows me to kind of style it in a bit more of a tonal way. So so I've kind of gone for the free, or I guess you could say four colour roll because the Uggs are slightly different, but just to kind of make the colours work together, which I really love. I've actually had this coat for around 11 years, so I'm going to try and find and link a similar, which is on ASOS at the moment, which I've literally spotted about a week ago. So hopefully that's in stock just in case you guys do want to invest in like a bit more of a bright, colourful piece, but could literally be any of your favourite coats in your wardrobe that you just have like a little bit more texture to and potentially have like more of that shacket style detail too and then you could just easily pick up on the neutral colours and tones that you have in your wardrobe and kind of create something very similar to this by just literally using this as the outfit focus which I find so helpful when you're struggling on what to wear which is me a lot of the time. <laughs> Going for one that's a little bit more neutral, I've gone for my really pale light denim jeans, just in case any of you guys have more of these tone jeans in your wardrobe. And I'm just styling with this cream knit. I've actually got a long sleeve ribbed H&M little tee on underneath as well, just in case I would need to take this off. And then my cream bag, which is very practical from NAKD. And then just kind of allowing this outfit to be quite neutral toned, but having the tan shoes on, which you could easily tie in with a tan or brown bag that you guys might have. I feel like that's quite a nice way to kind of tie the look together. However, I really like a cream and like blue kind of everyday fit that's very casual and comfy. And then the Uggs just honestly make me feel like I'm in my pajamas right now, which is what I love so much about them is that they're so comfortable on. So this is just like a really nice everyday fit that I thought would be lovely for like the pre-autumn days. And then also potentially adding on like a colored scarf if I wanted to bring the outfit to life a little bit more too. Very tonal, again, I'm going for all the cream. So I've gone for my cream jeans and then mix it up a little bit to add a bit more depth to the look by styling with the brown tonal pieces in my wardrobe. So I feel like this is quite easy to recreate in terms of an outfit. If you have the neutral tones that you love, they could be beiges, tans, oranges, browns. Styling with more of those like creams, whites that you may have. I just feel like it really makes the Uggs stand out and also works really nicely and makes it feel very autumnal. These are definitely kind of outfits that I tend to go for in the autumn months and then again like if I want to dress it up and make it a bit more colourful I do a coloured scarf potentially but I do feel like I've become more of a neutral girl in autumn and winter but I am thinking about doing a video where I focus on colour styling for the autumn and winter months because it can be a little bit tricky to get that colour in there especially when you're layering over so much and things are usually covered because you're thermaled up which hopefully we don't have to do for a little while longer because I would like it to be a warmer kind of September October but we shall see so outfits like this are definitely some of my fave for autumn and winter so starting with just taking off the scarf but this is what it looks like with the scarf here just so you guys can see it's more of like an everyday autumn fit with full neutrals again allowing the Uggs to stand out but this is actually one of my favorite outfits for autumn and winter days like moving into the kind of colder days I guess because it feels very put together I love all the tones together and this textured blazer I've had for a couple of years and NAKD have brought it out again which I'm so happy about because I feel like it just adds a little little bit more to a look and it also just feels super super cozy I love all the different textures together and I mean I love it with this white scarf this is really old Zara but hopefully this year they just bring out some more similars because it's so snuggly on and fluffy honestly I'm getting fluff all over my room gonna have to hoover after this but yeah I just love this as a cozy little everyday fit walking around London, Brighton, wherever I'm off to, not sure, but I feel like this is a good one for keeping cosy, but also feeling like you've got a quite nice put together look. Next look is the same white jeans, but I wanted to show you how I add color with just a knit jumper, like I said yesterday. So this pink fluffy one is from H&M. Annoyingly, it's an only in store exclusive. So I'll try and link a similar one down below, but it's super fluffy. And I just feel like really nice pastel neutral tones like this that are peaches, pinks, some of those like burnt oranges that you get on the lighter side always go really nicely with like tan accessories and the Uggs if you've got this brown tone. I realise there's quite a few different colours of Uggs out there. You can get the sage ones. 
and I think you can get more of the pale cream ones at the moment so depending on what colour you guys have I feel like you can kind of pick up on the tones and then make it stand out a little bit more with these tan pieces if you have any bags or accessories like this and then if you like colour little pastel knit to bring the look to life a little bit more as well. We're going on for more of the neutral black toned pieces in my wardrobe now and I'm doing the accessory rule here and kind of sticking with a three colour rule but I like to still think of this potentially more as a two colour rule. I don't know why. I just feel like when I'm styling black and white they're the kind of base colours, very neutral and then tying in the Uggs and the bag together again just to kind of make the look look a bit more together. These trousers I've had for a really long time from Bershka so again I'll try and link similars and then just gone for this classic fake leather bomber, which I feel like is a really great autumn winter transitional piece in the wardrobe for me personally especially because I get really really warm on even those like cold days so I feel like an item like this I can easily put on a hoodie if I needed to underneath or just do like a classic tank top like this and it's a really nice warm little added layer perfect as well I feel like although it's not waterproof the rain does kind of just slide off it so I do gravitate towards like fake leather pieces this time of year as I feel like it's a bit more practical with the change in weather like it's very unpredictable it looks like it's about to rain again now and it was like bright sunshine this morning so who knows what the weather's gonna bring these days so yeah this is just a very comfortable classic city day out outfit probably something I'd wear for casual meetings in London as well so I feel like this is quite a cool fit and if you have any tailored trousers then I feel like styling them with the Uggs is always like a really nice way of mix and matching more of those kind of tailored dressy pieces with more of those casual pieces. I've mentioned this briefly I think in previous videos but one of my favourite ways to style outfits is going with like tailoring and more of those kind of like oversized fake leather a bit more grungy pieces and balancing out an outfit. I kind of do this a lot for example with like satin skirts as more of that feminine floaty piece that's a bit more dressy and then styling it with like fake leather jacket jackets and oversized like graphic tees and I just find it creates a really nice kind of dress down outfit for every day with those pieces that may be a bit more dressy in my wardrobe so tailored trousers although these are the bit more dress down ones my other tailored trousers I have I also wear with like outfits and pieces like this more of the fake leather jackets and kind of comfy guess more dressed down casual pieces that just make the look feel a little bit more put together for city days out. Would it be an autumn transitional video about at least one feature of one trench coat? I'm going to try and do two in this video but this sage trench coat I don't necessarily love the tones of the grey jumper with this massively but I really envisioned like a darker grey trench or coat with this however I feel like this does the job like in my head I kind of wanted again like tailored trousers that are comfortable styled with like jersey jumpers so again having that kind of balance with styling those more kind of structured pieces with more of those casual pieces and this jumper is so snuggly guys it's from H&M it's recent I think it's like 9.99 or something ridiculous and these are my Uniqlo suit trousers so the ones that are like my capsule faves that I honestly can't get enough of these come in grey, khaki, tan, beige and if you are five foot four and under or even five foot five and under I feel like these are the perfect length like when you're wearing shoes which for me is unheard of like every single pair of trousers that I own even the last pair you saw I've had taken in because being five foot three any of you will be able to relate it's just so hard to find the right length of trousers so the Uniqlo ones which I'll leave linked down below are definitely a fave and I just thought this was a nice fit for like Sunday brunches and roasts and coffee runs and just errand running or city days out where I just want to be very comfortable I also think I'd travel in this because of the comfort of the trousers and the sweatshirt so yeah I really like this outfit I feel like this is going to be my vibe for autumn so hopefully it's not too warm and I can wear something like this although I keep saying I want it to be warm and cold you know beggars can't be choosers gonna get what we're gonna get <laughs> gotta have another trench coat outfit in here so just doing lots of grey tonal pieces which I'm really loving at the moment these are the Uniqlo grey trousers of the black ones that I just showed you and again just absolutely love them tying in the look and I guess sticking as a two colour rule with the tan and beige tones and the grey I feel like grey is a nice colour option if you don't want to go very neutral with like black trousers and jumpers and you want to have like a little bit more something something to an outfit I feel like also 
grey knits with grey trousers or like different tonal greys is really nice together. So just styling a classic beige capsule trench coat. This one is my fave that I've had for about 10 years and I feel like it's kind of a must that I recommend in people's wardrobes when everyone's like, what's something out of your top 10 pieces in autumn and winter or all seasons? This would be it. I tend to even wear it in spring and summer as well, like on those days in Brighton or London where you need that little added layer. I just feel like they're perfect and I'll leave a few similars as well linked down below. So this is actually a different green tea than the yesterday's one, but this just arrived from H&M. And I just thought to myself, I'm gonna keep both because I have so many green accessories that I actually can't wash my t-shirts fast enough to have them to match my green bag. So we're going with this tea and the neutral accessories again and bag. And this is just one of those ways, again, like I mentioned yesterday with all the short options, just a way that I brighten up those more neutral, classic looks and then I also love a pop of colour trainer but I know we're focusing on the Ugg so for the sake of this I've gone for the trench coat to kind of tie in with the beige tones and then just the pop of colour accessory and tea to kind of tie in the look and just add a little bit more something something. I feel like it's important to wear a bit of colour in autumn even though I am swaying towards the neutrals right now I just feel like it really does brighten up my day when I have a little bit more something to an outfit so green for me right now is definitely a fave. Gotta have at least one outfit as well with my gilet. So this is old Zara and I absolutely love it. If I can find similars, I will. Hopefully they might even bring out something very similar this year. And honestly, every time I put it on, it just reminds me of New York because I bought this in New York for my birthday last year. And I just love it. And I love getting it out again. It's so cozy and I love a black roll neck as like a capsule piece. So I feel like brown tone gilets like this and then just going for an all neutral outfit is a nice way to style around the Uggs. And also, if you don't have a black roll neck, I'll leave one of my faves linked down below because for me, they're definitely, again, a capsule autumn winter piece. I feel like it's an essential with most of my jean looks under like all the kind of fluffy knits and cardigans that I wear as well when you need like a little added layer. And then in like January and Feb, I end up just using them as thermals because sometimes you need them. I mean, last year was so cold, I pretty much didn't take off my roll neck. <laughs> so I'll leave some of my faves linked down below. Some are from Uniqlo as well, which are the thermal ones. and then some of just the regular ones which are either new look or asos so i'll leave them linked down below for reference too so another neutral tonal outfit but styling the leg warmers because i had to do at least one to show you with the leggings so i actually lived in this outfit last year and i love black leggings leg warmers and then the uggs together super snuggly super comfortable i love the layering with the scarf you could easily take this off as well if you wanted i feel like the leg warmers though with like a beige tan legging which i don't own would look really really cool so if you have that in your wardrobe then I feel like that would be quite nice to style with more of the tonal looks and go for like a full beige neutral outfit and then have the leg warmers on for extra warmth as well. I feel like as well this is probably more of a winter day out fit because it's super super snuggly and I'm currently sweating <laughs> while wearing this in my room because it's definitely not the day for it today. Another absolute fave outfit of mine from last year, styling my flared black trousers. So I just find these so comfortable in autumn and winter when you just want to be snuggly. And then you could also layer under with like legging thermals as well if it was really, really cold. But I love how they look like draped over the Uggs. I find that quite a nice, cool, city kind of comfy chic outfit way of styling them and then gone for the tan coat again so again just focusing on the two color rule black and tan to tie in with the uggs and then layering over with a knit just in case i need like the extra layer on like an autumn day out i think i'm gonna do this as the last way to wear just because otherwise i'm getting carried away there's so many ideas in my head that i feel like i could keep going but this look is very me kind of outfit this coat i pretty much live in at the moment i absolutely love it it's this patchwork one from hello moonshot which they said they were going to bring more out of all this one out in like a couple of months so or a couple of weeks sorry not months we're already in nearly september so i'll try and leave this link down below but i just feel like it's a great piece to brighten up any outfit it's just so colorful i love all the prints on it and details and just tying in the uggs with the bag just to kind of make the outfit work a little bit better as well in terms of like flowing nicely together but i just think the jacket is stunning and again with those neutral tones and pieces really works brightens up the autumn winter wardrobe which i personally love and i do live in this jacket like at any opportunity that i need an added layer i've been living in it so i will be wearing it a lot in autumn and winter as well but i also think you can start uggs with like tracksuit sets trench coats then layered over or even tracksuit sets with like blazers it looks really really good as more of like a travel chic 
comfy loungewear. Again, like those more casual pieces with tailoring, which I also love doing. So I'm not gonna do those because I feel like it's quite easy to recreate those. But if you guys do wanna see outfits like that, I will post more over on my TikTok. And if there's any more ways to wear for this month that you guys want, let me know. I've got a few more added on my list, but leave a comment down below and I will get around to filming it for you guys. And I hope you all enjoyed. I hope this layout has been okay. I realize like, I'm not sure on the background how it's been, but lighting wise, it's been quite bad. So it's been quite hard to work out the best lighting, but let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in the next video. Lots of love. Bye.